All right, guys, so before we get into this demo, I wanted to go ahead and announce the winner for the Lush Holiday Products giveaway that I told you guys about a few videos ago. So go ahead and email me at Old Mom New Tricks with your mailing address, and I will get your products out to you as soon as possible. So the winner for the giveaway is Melissa Hudson. Congratulations, and thanks all you guys for entering and sharing the video. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy this demo. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, so what I have to demo for you today is a brand new holiday bubble bar from Lush, and it's from their Christmas line, and it's called Man in the Moon. It's actually inspired by a 1902 movie called A Trip to the Moon, so that on his eye, it's not a monocle. It kind of looks like that. What is supposed to be is a rocket sticking out of his eye, and A Trip to the Moon is actually still considered to this day one of the very first sci-fi movies, so I think that's pretty cool. This the scent of this bubble bar is lime and neruli, and from what I can remember, it smells just like the Monster's Ball bath bomb. So it has a really good scent. This bubble bar is huge. It's really big. It reminds me of the size of the Comforter bubble bar, and so you can get four, five, six, maybe even more than that baths out of it. So it's really good, thick size. It's very dense. Um, I really, really do like this bubble bar. It's shimmery on the outside and I just, I really like it. So let's go ahead and get it chopped up and I'll show you what it can do. Okay, so I have my man in the moon bubble bar now in the bathroom and I'm gonna go ahead and put him in the strainer. Not all of them at all. Um, I'll probably do half of them, which is definitely more than you're gonna need in a standard bathtub, but I'm gonna try and demo him the best I can to show you what he can do. You could definitely make four, four or five in a standard bathtub bubble baths out of him. Easy, easy, easy. He's gonna make a crazy bubble bath. I can tell because he's just so dense and he just, the consistency of him you can tell. He's just definitely gonna make a really, really nice and um, very dense, crazy, super luxurious bubble bath. So you're not gonna need very much of him, maybe a fourth or a fifth. So we're gonna see what he can do with half and uh, with the jets, it's gonna be crazy bubbles. It's gonna be really fun. So we're gonna put this much in and see what he can do. All right, so I always tell you guys to turn your volume down because this is gonna be a little bit loud. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my water on. And we're going to see what the man in the moon can do as far as bubbles. I know this is going to be crazy, crazy bubbles because this looks like it's going to be a really, really awesome bubble bath. Oh my gosh, the water is crazy bright. It's crazy bright neon green. Wow, oh my gosh. I didn't expect it to be that bright green. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that bright. Wow, that's cool. That's really cool. And this smells to me just like, um, I remember Monster's Ball smelling. Now I haven't had one in a year. I know I demoed it not, um, I don't know, in the spring, not too long after I started my channel. I don't 
remember exactly what it smelled like, but that's my recollection of what this smells like to me is Monster's Ball. And I think that's what this is supposed to smell like, so. I think that's probably a good description, especially based on the ingredients. Oh, it smells really strong too. It's a really strong scent. Really nice. And I've heard from several other people that this is like one of their favorite new bubble bars. This is a really, really good one. Again, I feel like I'm doing the old Jiffy Pop <laughs> deal. But, I mean, that's fun. It's a lot of fun. I do them like this because I do um, hold my camera by hand right now. Obviously, I don't have it on a tripod right now. So, I hold the strainer in one hand and the camera with another. So, that's one reason I chop them up. Another reason why I chop them up is because I think it's really cool. I love chopping them up. I think it's uh, visually appealing. I like the way that looks. And I just think it's, you know, that odd, obviously... Um, the oddly satisfying thing on Instagram. I like that and I think it's really cool. So I know a lot of people just kind of take them and crumble them under the water, but I like to do it the other way. I like to chop them up and then put them in the strainer. So it might be anticlimactic just to put them in the strainer for the demo, but um, I think it kind of adds something to chop them up beforehand too. So um, I don't know, it's just different. People do it in different ways. Okay. So, let's step back just a second and see what the bubbles look like now. Alright, so I have my water going pretty strong and I'm going to let it keep going like this until it fills it past the jet so you can kind of see what it's going to look like with half the bubble bar in and just the water pressure. So, you can tell if you do have a standard bathtub how many bubbles you're going to get just with the water pressure and half of that bubble bar. And that's without agitation. And it looks like it's gonna create just a really, really, really nice bubble bath just like that. And I can already tell you, it smells really, really good. It smells really strong. It smells very heavily of a lawn. And the little undertone of, it you can definitely tell the Neroli smell in the background. Okay, so I've let it go just about another minute, not much longer than a minute to see what it can do with just the water pressure. So I think we're just about ready to turn on the jet. And we've got a lot of lot of bubbles just with the water pressure. Just like that. Really fluffy right there. Really kind of light and airy and then it gets more dense around the outside. So let's go ahead and turn on the bubbles and see what it can do, turn on the jet. And I'm gonna turn off the water. Look at that bright, bright lime green color. That is really cool. I did expect the green, but not the neon green, so that's really different. I've really been enjoying these bubble bars. For some reason, for a long time, I didn't think that you guys would enjoy the bubble bars as much because I didn't think they put on quite as much of a show. But now that I know that you guys enjoy these just as much, I'm really enjoying doing them. I'm enjoying taking the, bu the bubble baths. And um, now that I know you 
you join them this much, I'll probably be doing just a few more bubble bars. So many bubbles. Let me get down so you can see how many on this level it makes. <laughs> it's awesome. It's really awesome. That has not even been 60 seconds. That's crazy. And the water's not filled up much more past the jet. It smells really, really good in here too. I would say it's even a little more stronger than the Monsters Ball bath bomb. And I have half the bubble bar left over, so I think these are a really, really good value. Okay, so let's take a look at the bubbles. They're awesome. They're the kind you can play with. They're very dense, they're very soft, they're luxurious too. They're not just the kind that are gonna pop right when you get in. They're very, very dense and soft. Okay, so this is the end result of Man in the Moon Bubble Bar. It is huge, it's a huge bubble bar. It's very dense, it's a great value. I think it's got an awesome scent, it's got a great color. So definitely pick one up if you're gonna order off the Lush UK site, and I think it's gonna be here in the States for Christmas. So definitely, I think you should pick one up if you can, if you're interested, if you like this scent. And unless I come back with one more part in this video where there's some cleanup, I think that it's just definitely one that you should pick up for the holidays. So I will have all of the Lush links listed down below as usual, and if not, just Definitely pick one of these up. I think it's a hit. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching this demo. And I'll see you back here for the next one. Bye-bye.